In today's narration, we explore Nathaniel Hawthorne's enduring classic, The Scarlet Letter. Set in a puritanical society, Hawthorne's novel probes deep into themes of sin, redemption, and societal judgment. Let us venture into the dark, cobblestone streets of 17th century Boston to uncover the tapestry of emotions, secrets, and revelations that this masterpiece presents. The story is set in the 17th century Puritan Massachusetts, specifically in the town of Boston. Hester Prynne, a young woman, emerges from the town prison, holding her infant daughter, Pearl. She wears the scarlet letter A on her chest, signifying adulteress. As she stands on the scaffold, the townspeople gather around, whispering and judging her for her sin of bearing a child out of wedlock. But despite their scorn, Hester remains resolute, refusing to name the child's father. She's reminded of her past, having come to the New World from England, waiting for her older husband. But her husband never arrived, and Hester believed him to be dead. In his absence, she formed a close bond with a town minister named Arthur Dimsdale, resulting in the birth of Pearl. Hester's husband, later revealed as Roger Chillingworth, had indeed arrived in Boston. Instead of revealing his identity, he adopts a new name and becomes a doctor. He soon becomes suspicious of Dimsdale's connection with Hester, and becomes obsessed with discovering the truth. As the years pass, Hester becomes an outcast, but is gradually accepted due to her charitable deeds and humility. Pearl grows into a wild and untamed child, often viewed with suspicion by the community. The Scarlet Letter, instead of being just a mark of shame, becomes a symbol of Hester's resilience and strength. Dimsdale, on the other hand, suffers internally, tormented by guilt over his secret sin with Hester. Chillingworth, getting closer to the minister, recognizes his guilt and begins torturing him mentally. In a dramatic climax during a public gathering, Dimsdale mounts the scaffold and reveals a mark on his chest, symbolizing his shared guilt with Hester. He declares his sin to the community, freeing himself from Chillingworth's torment but succumbing to his guilt. He dies in Hester's arms, leaving her and Pearl behind. In the end, Chillingworth dies a year later, having lost his purpose for revenge, Hester and Pearl leave Boston, and many years later, Hester returns alone, still wearing the scarlet letter. She lives the rest of her days helping those in need, transforming the letter A from a mark of shame to one of able service and redemption. The scarlet letter is more than just a tale of love, sin, and repentance. It's a critical look into a rigid society, where the public and private moralities often clash. Hester, branded by the letter, actually stands as a resilient and strong-willed woman, a stark contrast to the supposed frailty associated with women during that period. Dimmesdale, representing the hypocrisy of society, hides behind his role as a minister while grappling with immense guilt. His eventual public confession is not only an acknowledgement of his human flaws, but also a critique of the society that pushes individuals to conceal their true selves. Chillingworth's transformation from a wronged husband to a malevolent tormentor portrays the dangers of obsession and the consuming nature of revenge. His demise post Dimsdale's death indicates the emptiness and futility of living for vengeance. In concluding, The Scarlet Letter remains a profound narrative, a reflection on the dualities of love and hate, acceptance and ostracization, and personal versus societal judgment. Hawthorne's masterful storytelling coupled with rich character developments make it a timeless piece, inviting readers and listeners to reflect on their own morals and societies. If you found this narration insightful and wish to explore more literary classics with us, do consider subscribing to our channel. Your support aids in our endeavor to bring more such enlightening tales to light.